Hello everybody, this is going to be a quick Audacity training. Um, I'm just going to go through the basics, nothing fancy or anything like that. If you have not yet downloaded Audacity, you can get it here at www.audacityteam.org and just go ahead and click the download Audacity. Um, one thing I do suggest if you download Audacity is to download the lame MP3 encoder, which is right here under download windows. The reason for that is the lame MP3 encoder is going to allow you to save in Audacity as MP3. If you don't, you can still download or you can still save as a wave, but the lame MP3 one is going to be smaller, which is going to be easier to allow you to email the group your findings and two is also going to be able to be played on a lot more devices if it's a tablet or a phone or your pc or laptop or whatever the mp3 is widely more accepted than a wave file if you click on that just go ahead and install it there will, there will be no notifications or anything like that once you install it the only way you'll notice it's installed is it'll show up under the save as tab which we'll go to in a second all right, let's go ahead and open up Audacity, and this is what it looks like. Uh, I'm going to open up an old file right here, an old uh, EVP, if I can find it. Okay, there we go. Uh, you can actually just take it and drag it over. Uh, this is just asking me if I want to copy it, which is fine because it leaves a copy alone. Uh, and of course, you see uh, the sound waves, and of course, there's something here, there's something there. Uh, most of the time that's not going to be EVP, EVP will be showing up in the smaller areas, but it gives you an idea of where you hear some sounds. This is actually the EVP in here, uh, this first beginning spot, which you can you can still see, which is pretty impressive. If you can actually visually see the EVP, it's pretty good. Um, just left click and drag. Now this is our uh, highlighted area. This is one of the reasons why I say instead of listening and trying to review EVP or audio on your recorder, you just go ahead and dump it onto your PC. Open up Audacity and listen to your EV or your audio file in Audacity. That way if you hear something that sounds questionable, you can highlight it and go ahead and click the play button. It's going to play just that selected area and you can listen to it over and over and over again uh giving you a better way of listening to it and you know and you can repeat if you try to do that from your recorder chances are either you're going to miss it or you're going to tap it once and accidentally accidentally go back to the beginning of the file and then have to start all over again which is a pain in the butt so uh yeah that's one of the reasons why i just i say go ahead and listen to all your audio from your PC or your laptop. Uh, okay, and the other thing is you can go ahead and export and say, okay, I've got my area where my EVP is. If you go to File, Export Selected Audio, it's going to export just that gray area. If you use uh, Export Audio, which is right above it, you're actually gonna export the entire file. So let's go ahead and export it. We'll just export to the desktop, name it uh, Audacity Training. Oh, it's already there. Okay, and this is where you see the mp3 file. If I did not download the lame mp3, the mp3 file will not show up under save as and you are forced to use wave. Um, which, I, which I say, if, if you don't, for some reason, can't get it on there, uh, that's fine. You can save it as a wave, but I would suggest you downloading the lame mp3 so you can save as mp3. Okay, let's go ahead and open up that same uh, file. You'll notice that it's just the highlighted area that I'm opening up, and there it is. Now, this is just the highlighted area that Xbox exported just the highlighted area only. Uh, once again, this makes it great, so I can listen to it again over and over again here, or I can go ahead and start doing some edits. Um, there is a long list of editing things here and effects and cool stuff like reverb and phaser But we're not going to want to use that 99.9% .9 of the time. All you're going to use is amplify uh, And even then you got to use it sparingly. You don't want to amplify it so much where 
you can't hear anything because it's not only going to amplify the EVP, it's going to amplify all the background noise and all that stuff as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and click on amplify. Now it starts off at 15. I would not amplify at 15. I would start off at 5. And click OK and you'll notice right off the bat that the sound waves will get a little bit bigger, a little bit bolder. That means, of course, it's louder. So once we play it again, you will be able to, you know, hear everything a little bit better, supposedly. Okay. And if you wanted to, let's say you clicked it and you did all that and you still can't hear it. You can actually amplify again, but I would suggest once again, amplify in just five intervals. Cause if you just said, okay, I'm going to go ahead and bump it up to 10 decibels and stuff like that. It's actually going to amplify on top of the five that's already there. And it's going to be really, really loud. So like I said, just go ahead and keep it at like five or so. All right. Once again, I hear something in this area, click, left click, drag. That is my uh, highlighted audio file, export selected audio, and then you can save it to your desktop or whatever, you know, wherever you want to save it. And uh, I think that's about it for this short tutorial. And once again, if you have any questions, go ahead and feel free to email me or hit me up on Facebook Messenger. Uh, let me also know if what you want is the next video. I think the next one I'm going to do is going to be picture editing and picture review. Uh, but hey, yeah, thank you for watching the video if you, and uh, I'll see you next time.